Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. The next feature we have is automate update of field values. So let's say customer asks you that, hey, I want to automatically update the field values like that status and approval as well. That means if somebody approves it, it should automatically change the status approval status to approved as well. And it should also show as requested that yes, somebody has requested for the leave. That's what I want. And that let's say you get the requirement from a customer. Now, how can I, how, how exactly you can fulfill this requirement? So you, we will fulfill this requirement with the help of flow designer. So let's do one thing. Let's go to our instance over here and we will go to flow designer. So I will create a flow designer. Basically, I will create a flow so that I can show you that how you can achieve this without scripting. So we just have to um, update the values. So whenever record will be created, the leave request will be submitted. Uh, I have to update the status to uh, submitted and I have to make the approval status to uh, requested. So we have, we got the flow. I will click over here. I will click on flow. So I will do uh, maybe LMS, LMS workflow or maybe I will just do LMS flow. Here we have application and it says user who initiates the session. That's fine. And I will just click on submit. So I'm going to create the flow and now I will create the actions. But before that, I will also mention the trigger point. So I will mention over here and I will select the trigger. I will make it a little bit small and I can just select it says created. So whenever I will create the new racket, I will basically process, basically initiate this flow. So I will select leave request and that's it. I don't, I don't have to uh, put any kind of condition. Maybe if, if you want, you can still put the condition. That means duration should be there. So if I come over here uh, and if I have duration so duration should not be empty is not empty that's basically i would say kind of mandatory to trigger this flow so duration is not empty and that's it so let's just do like this and now i will create some actions so um, starting with first action so what we will do uh, we have to basically update the racket so we will i will we, i will go to update uh, if i have here um, yes, create or update the racket. I will do update the racket. And I think here, create or update, create task, create. I don't have specific to, uh, yes, I do have update the rackets as well. Yes, so I will select update the racket. Um, now, which racket I have to select? I will just select this one, same one, uh, which we are basically from which we are triggering the flow and what exactly I have to update. So whenever we will submit the request, uh, basically status would become, I will select the choice here, submit it. And at the same time, I will also make the approval uh, status to request it. And that's it. It will basically update the racket. Uh, and if we will match the condition, then only uh, it will basically update the record in the bucket. But as of now, I'm just updating these two fields with requested and submitted. As of now, it is not uh, approved yet. How exactly I will send the approval? I will go over here. Now I will ask for approval. So here we have another action for which record? Same record, this one. I will select the approval field. Approval field, I can select this one. That's what the approval field we have. Uh, now, how exactly we will approve it? When exactly? Uh, so anyone approves it, that's fine. And I can select the approver. Now, I can select any anyone. Like it's it's up to um, up to your business, I would say, use case you get from your customers. So maybe I will select over here. Um, I do have, yes, I have requested by. And I will send it to the manager. 
so do I have manager yes I have manager over here and uh, yep so it will send it to the manager so manager has to approve it and I can just maybe make it or if I do that uh, anyone approves it and if it's approved so let's say if gets approved so let's say if I maybe I will just do um, okay I will make it uh, or maybe I have to change something over here as well uh, approval it says I think this is something we don't have to select right now approve okay so it will approve automatically when we have anyone's uh, approves it so in that case if it's gets approved so can I can I get something over here uh, can I get it from here approval state okay so if the approval state is approved so if it is approved that means if somebody will approve it so I will update the record I will update the record over here so if somebody approves it it says target record which is this one and I will update the record basically I will update the approval field and I will make it approved so if somebody is approving it I will make it approved and then if I'm basically approving it so it will automatically update the uh, record by approval basically the status approval status we have that this approval field uh, this will become approved automatically with the help of this flow designer and I can also mention if uh, maybe else if it is not approved or maybe we should do else if rather than uh, else I will cancel this one and I will put or maybe I will just else if and here I see ask for approval approval state and approval state is let's say rejected if somebody is rejecting it and I will make it done and I will just update the record with rejected and I will and this will not basically update the bucket because it is rejected so it should not update the bucket as well and here I will select this one and I will basically select the approval field here and I will update it to reject it and I will make it done that's it and I'm going to save this so it will update the records with approval and rejection and I will also activate this so yes I will activate this you can also do testing so when you create the flows you can also perform the testing but we will do the live testing so it is created it is activated as well what I will do I will come over here again now this time I will I have this not yet requested I have this open I don't have duration so I will select it maybe I will select uh, mm, maybe this one now you can still add more validation just to add another point that people might select the same field uh, sorry same dates which they have already selected so that check you can also do that hey this for this particular date you have already applied for the leaves so I'm not going to add those validations because you can put uh, to make this end-to-end uh, -end application you can you have to put multiple validations so I, I don't want to uh, put all the validations because my aim is to just to um, I think uh, basically uh, ma make you understand that how we can do development for an application with different elements we have of scripting so here we will select this uh, maybe uh, t uh, 12th of October till uh, 15 so we have got four days over here so it's 12 13 14 15 four days and I will just mention just a random comment um, I'm not selecting these fields this time I will just save this it is saved now you will see that it is not basically it, it has not changed okay it has now so I think flow designer uh, runs 
little bit slow. So I think it's kind of surprising for me uh, that why it ran uh, slow, but that's okay. It, it basically updated the submitted. So now you can see Flow Designer basically ran and it has updated, submitted and requested as well. That means uh, approval has been sent to the manager. But do I really have manager? If I would not have manager, that I can't approve it. So if I, if I basically uh, check my profile, I shouldn't have any manager, I think. Uh, if I come over here, uh, maybe I will just select uh, the default view. And I don't have manager field over here. Uh, but I even if I just maybe check over here. I will ju I'm just select I'm just checking the list uh, view so that I can look for the manager. So I have this profile. I will just pull the manager field. I have it over here. Okay. So you can see manager is empty. So I will populate it this time. Let's say I will make uh, Able Tutor as manager. So because I think this time it will update the bucket because maybe it had it has auto approved it. Let's see. Did it update the bucket? Uh, Okay, it's not, it has not updated the bucket. So if I go to the leave request, I have, uh, okay, I have this one. So I have not given the canceled uh, state. Maybe I will cancel this. Let's let's uh, cancel this. I'm not, I'm not going to use this. I will cancel this leave. It is canceled and I will create a new one now because this time I have the manager. So I will select casual leave. I will select the dates 12, I will select 15 over here and I will not select anything and I will just click on save. If I will do that, that means I have submitted the request. Uh, you can see it has also updated these fields. I will just impersonate Able Tutor. Let's do that. So if I select Able Tutor, and I come over here and I will go to my approvals. Where is my approvals? I will approvals. I can't see my approval. Okay, because I don't have uh, that role. So uh, I don't have that my approval role. That's still okay. Uh, I will end the impersonation and I will go to approval because I'm sure I can see other records as well. Let's say I'm clicking here my approvals and I just go to all and I will definitely see for other records as well because I have admin access and yes I have this one you can see I got this able tutor and I will approve it. Now before that I want to basically I will I will make this basically uh, form open so I will reload it you can see as of now I still have 24 420 I've, I'm going to take four more days leaves and I will approve it then I will approve it let's see what happens it is approved did it change anything absolutely you can see that as request got approved that means from flow designer it basically proceeded with the next steps next actions we created and it got it approved and then it also updated the racket as per our business rule which we mentioned in our in our in an application so we created that business rule so it ran the business rule and updated the leave bucket now i have it shows like i have eight leaves taken and i have balance as 16. So this is how you also create flow designer and you can see that I didn't even write a single script uh, in flow designer and that's what the I would say the that's what the power is uh, power we have with flow designer. I think it is it is really I would say it's it's kind of a, a really great functionality from ServiceNow that it will minimize your script. Uh, that, that whatever script you write to achieve different kind of functionalities, it will definitely minimize the script 
and and i i hope we will reach out to that level like like a low code or like a no code development and that's what i i would say it's kind of a no code development for this particular feature which we just added